this was just a small video by Tesla about Tesla in China. Now we know that Tesla is already since 2014 in China, but as we see the whole situation with the health crisis, how important in the future Tesla China will be. And this is all about what we are talking today. I am willing as an investor to say you can put one billion dollars into the development of Tesla China every single quarter, in my opinion, if it's needed. Now we need to scale as soon as possible Tesla China and we will talk about this metrics and also what we saw in the Q1 earnings report. This is so important guys that you watch this if you invested or if you consider to invest because Tesla China can and will be the most important puzzle point for Tesla. Now let's start with the recent events. The recent couple of months were very, very unprecedented. We never saw something like this, what we are seeing now. Millions of people are affected at the same time, which can decrease and will decrease the demand of Tesla and other car manufacturers though we have seen that the cfo said in the earnings call that they have the biggest backlog that they have ever had after a q1 earnings so this is quite positive it's the whole process of tesla ordering car online but let's talk about china china reopened in the record of time since china reopened its economy and its manufacturing facilities some companies that are in the warehouse space said they are back to 95 percent of their capabilities so this means that tesla china will be a very very strong counterpoint in the whole tesla story now think about the following we are seeing now a capacity that was increased from 150,000 cars to 200,000 cars and we are still building the china factory but let's talk about this 200,000. this according and percentualized to the 500 guidance that Elon musk said tesla will produce is about 40 percent so you see it's like almost a 50 50 between fremont and china very very soon and as further we go we will see that china is absolutely crushing it the numbers the production numbers the scaling i think the ramp up in production will be there even faster than in the us and Tesla in China is revolutionary. We have seen a couple of signs for that. Now, first of all, some of the doubters of Tesla never thought that they can pull off Tesla China. Now, they got a great deal with the government. They got huge support in the financing. And this financing that they got for this factory was crazy good conditions, guys. This was conditions that not even our very, very high profile clients in the China region are getting by the Chinese banks. So this is number one. Number two, we bought and built this factory from a piece of mud until a full functionizing factory where cars are rolling out in just a matter of 10 months. Unprecedented, guys. Nobody thought from the Tesla shareholders camp that I think we can pull this off so fast. And for sure, I don't have to tell that the short sellers would never, never imagine that Elon Musk can pull this up. But this is very, very important because you see the drive in China. You see how things are getting very, very fast accomplished. And you see also the community and the government, the political, everything gives an environment for a company to grow fast and to grow strong. And this is exactly what Tesla needs. One of the strongest pillars of the two success story of Tesla should be a strong China. And we have seen this in many, many situations and scenarios that like companies like Apple went to China and with Foxconn built one of the biggest phone manufacturing facility in the whole world. And not only that, they also profited to be then 
the most valuable company in the world for a period of time. But you see how important the manufacturing hub of China really is. Now, if this is still not enough for you, I get it. But listen to me, we are currently expanding the Tesla Shanghai factory. Now, we have seen a couple of pictures in the Q1 earnings report that showed us the extension of the phase two of the Shanghai factory where we will build the Model Y. Also, we will assemble the battery modules there in China, which is currently imported. So you see step by step the whole infrastructure in China is being built around the factory. Now we have the factory which puts many, many parts together and bring those parts fast to those biggest market in the world for electric vehicles. But not only that, the overall manufacturing process is still very complicated for Tesla. I have seen a podcast by Elon Musk where he stated that he actually think the current setup is insane difficult because we have like one factory that supports all other regions except Asia or except China with the Fremont factory. You have guys working in this Fremont factory that has to go for left hand drive, right hand drive. You have stickers with security messages that are necessary by law to be implemented on the cars, on the windshield and so on. And those are currently into 16 different languages, guys. So you see how the whole manufacturing process is very, very upgradable. Okay, so you see how important it is to place some strategic regional gigafactory out there in China will be one of the biggest. Let's talk about the big market over there. The Chinese government invested heavily into the developments of the future ready infrastructure in China. And therefore you see a huge part of their cars are already electric vehicle. Now it started about 2016 where we had about just 2%. Now we're going into the 5%. So almost 100% increase in just a matter of two, three years. Now, this is not enough. China has about 468 registered electric vehicles manufacturers. So you see how big the economy will be affected by those thriving and more and more upcoming electric vehicles manufacturers in China. So you see it's very important for China to be very on the upfront of electric vehicles. Now, there is also the reason of the very bad air in China. Now you really feel it when you are there. The pollution is heavily and therefore I believe this is another part where all buses in Beijing already are electric and taxis uh, will be in just a couple of years also all electric. And this is a huge sign that not only that the public transport will go electric, but also the normal or retail consumers of cars or the users of cars will be electric going as well. Now, this is also the reason why the government is putting us very much in subsidy in terms of purchasing a vehicle. Just recently, they announced that they will extend the subsidy for electric vehicles for vehicles that are below the 300,000 Huan price mark and Tesla already confirmed that they can price their Tesla model standard range below that number for its customers to get the subsidy. And as this wouldn't be enough, Tesla sold over 10,000 vehicles in China last month. This is approximately a market share of all electric vehicles in China of 30%, guys. All right. And this is huge. This is a huge, huge percentage of the market share. And this is due to the great brand. It's just the great product. It's just the development. And also Chinese people love to have quality. This is why Apple said for long of many, many months that China will become one of the most important markets for Apple, though they need to give them a different kind of models that also uh, more affordable items will be in their portfolio. And this, I think it's also the right step for 
Tesla and Elon Musk said also that for the China market maybe they will release a special model which I believe it's like a smaller version with maybe two doors and for about 22, 25, 20 thousand dollars this would be ideal and obviously keeping those uh, beautiful margins that Tesla has already anyway. Okay, let's summarize. So we know that Tesla China will be very important for Tesla. Now, a great political environment as well as great conditions gives the fundament for Tesla to grow in China. Moreover, a huge market over there will secure demand for the next hundreds of thousands of Model 3 and Y that will be rolled out of this factory. However, we have seen during crisis moments that China seems to recover much faster than other countries and because they have this fundamental political scenario where they can basically say anything and do anything to help the economy, this is something that is unique in China and this will help to grow Chinese companies or other companies that are producing in China and securing jobs in China and also giving the economy further way to grow. So we see a huge support and this seems that throughout China we will see a grow out of the other neighbor countries you know we will see Hong Kong we will see Macau we will see other interesting Asian and maybe also South Asian countries that will be delivered from the China factory and this is so important because China factory must be able to maybe cover some capacity up in crisis timings like we are currently now and therefore I believe this is very very important for Tesla. Moreover we see also that Tesla is continuously investing into China. Now the development of the capacity to go from 100,000 vehicles to 200,000 vehicles and are now currently at the pace of 4,000 vehicles per week is incredible and caught me also by surprise in the Q1 earnings report. Now this will further give us the opportunity I'm as a Tesla investor or a Tesla fan and Tesla supporter think that Tesla should really focus how they can manage to grow this facility at the maximum you know. I think this should be the biggest factory worldwide. Now this is my the heavy statement but I really think that this will be so important to the success story of Tesla. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also don't forget that we have now memberships here on this channel. If you want more, if you want to be part of the live streams in the future and the members only, if you want to be a part of our community discord channel chat, make sure to click the join button below this videos and check out this value, value, most valuable supporting ways of this channel. <music>